Good morning, guys. Welcome to another grammar class for ninth grade. Uh, Mr. Oyo, I hope that you have rest uh, enough this weekend and that you'll be ready for this amazing week. So, this is the week number 5 from August 70th to 21st. Today's topic is conditional and if sentences, the same topic of the last week, but this is the number 2. Okay, conditional and if sentences, okay, this is to make conditions in a sentence or to give probabilities that what could happen in the future. Okay, in this case, we are working on page 56, so please open your books on page 56. I won't speak Spanish for this lesson too, so listen carefully. Conditional and if sentences too. In this case, we are using the word or the adjectives unless, okay, unless is used when we say that if something does not happen, something else will happen, okay, or be true as a result. So, we use, use unless to talk about one, when, sorry. We say that if something does not happen, so we are liking making less comparisons, okay? If that don't happen, probably this will happen, okay? So if uh, if Elder don't watch the video, the whole video, he will not understand the 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 class. So if Elder don't watch Elder, sorry, Elder will understand the class unless if he watched the video, okay? Unless, a menos que, unless he watched all the video. Elder will understand the class unless he watched the whole video, okay? So, uh, Jair will be okay unless is he has lived the eight hour of sleep that they, he have to do. Okay, so that's that the use that we do uh, give to the word unless to say that if something does not happen, something else, otra cosa will happen, va a pasar, okay? So as a result, if you don't help me, I won't be able to leave this. If you, if I, I won't be able to leave this unless you help me, okay? This is a conditional one, okay? If you don't help me, I won't be able to leave you, okay? That in the first topic, we, we, we said that a conditional is used to talk about um, situation that is pres uh, um, happening in this present with a possible result in the future, okay? If you don't help me, I won't be able to leave this. Now, using the conditional unless, I won't be able to leave this unless you help me. Okay, this is the first situation that in the second situation as a result. Then we have otherwise. Okay, otherwise another way of saying if not. It can also come at the end of a separate sentences. For example, help me with this. Otherwise, I won't be able to leave it. Otherwise in Spanish means de otra manera. Otherwise, help me with this. Otherwise, I won't be able to leave it. Now, otherwise can be in the middle of a sentence or could be at the end of a sentence. As an example over here, help me with this. I won't be able to leave it otherwise. Help me with this, period. I won't be able to leave it otherwise. Now we have if only. Okay, if only the, tra the traduction, I would say it is like si solamente o si solo. If only can be used as a way of emphasizing if. If you only ju told me, I could have helped you. If you only ju told me, I could have helped you. Okay? The if is only clause can also be used only as an exclamation. If you only ju sorry, if only you told me. Si tan solo me hubiera dicho. If only you told me. If only you told me, I could have helped you. Si solo me hubiera dicho, o si tan solo me hubiera dicho, podría haberte ayudado, okay? 
like emphasize in this case we are making an emphasis in it in this case we are making an exclamation if you only told me guy si tu si tan solo me hubieras dicho chico that is how on their way to make if only now we have the verb provide or providing with that as long as on condition or that as long as it like tan pronto como okay o tan largo como these are more emphatic ways to say an only if. You can only go to the party if you are home before 12. You can go to the party provided you are home before 12, 12. You can go to the party as long as you are home before 12. You can go to the party on condition that you are home before 12. Okay, we are making using provide, providing as long as or on condition. If you are home, before 12. You can only go to the party if you are home before 12. Now we are using provide. You can only, sorry, you can go to the party provide you are home before 12. Okay, so that are another ways to use provide. Now, even if, okay, even if, even if also can be used in conditional sentences to emphasize if to, even if you back him to take the money, he wouldn't accept. Even. Okay, even. Right? Right? So, even if you back him to make the money, he wouldn't accept. Okay? Incluso dice si como que metieras el dinero en una bolsa, él no lo aceptaría. Incluso, even if, incluso si. Okay, that's another way to make an emphasis in F. So, if you with should and if you happen to. If plus should emphasize that an event is not very likely or not to or to make a request seem for indirect or polite. For example, if you should see him tomorrow, could you give him a message? If you should see him tomorrow, could you give him a message? And now, if plus happen. Okay, to has a similar effect and can be used with should to emphasize on likelihood or distance. Phrases such as by any change are also in use in the same way. For example, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, you drop and see us. Okay, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, do drop in and see us. Okay, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, do drop in and see us. Okay, dice como que si estuvieras en el vecindario, ven a visitarnos. If you should happen by any chance to find the money, si tuvieras alguna casualidad o si por de casualidad encontraras el dinero, podrías devolverlo. Okay, so if and where to. This is often used in writing which speculates about the future. If the government were to lower taxes, they would certainly win votes, okay? If the government were to lower taxes, taxes is like, um, how do I can translate that? Um, las tarifas, o el, yes, tarifas, okay? Um, they would certainly win votes, okay? So we are making, we are speculating about what can happen in the future if some people or some action could uh, happen. Then we have this can also make a name and seems like likely. If I were to offer you more money, would you stay in the job? Es como si te ofreciera más dinero, te quedarías en el trabajo. Okay. If and where was not for or hadn't been for. This describes how one event depends on another. For example, if it were not for Helen, our team would be the worst in the uh, sorry in the area. Dice, si no hubiera sido por Helen, nuestro, si no fuera por Helen, eh, nuestro, nuestro equipo no sería el peor en el área. If Helen wasn't a really good player, si Helen no fuera una buena jugadora. If it hadn't been for Jim, the shot would have drawn. Okay? If Jim hadn't jumped into the rest of the shield, would die. Okay. But for, I'm sorry. But for, 
We can use but for to mean if it were or not for. But for your assistant, we would not have succeeded. Es como lo mismo, si no hubiera sido por tu asistencia, no hubiéramos como que logrado. Supposing, suppose or imagine. These are ways of expressing conditions without if. Supposing you had five million dollars or euros, libras, creo que son, what would you spend it on? In this case, we are not using if, okay, because these words or expresses are conditions without if. Supposing you had five million dollars, what would you spend, spend it on it? Si, sup, supusi, eh, suponiendo que tuvieras cinco millones de dólares, ¿qué harías con ellos o qué lo gastarías? Imagine you were president. How would you change the country? Imagine you were a president. How would you change the country? In this case, we are not using if. Then we have if so or if not. This can refer to a previous sentence and for condition. In example, if Jane is too ill to play, Mary can play instead. Okay, now Jane may be too ill to play. If so, Mary can play instead. Jay may still be able to play, if not, Mary can play instead. Dice, eh, Jen podrá estar eh, capacitada para jugar, si no, Mary podrá jugar en su lugar. Jen may be too ill to play, if so, Mary can be played instead. Si Jen está como que muy herida para jugar, entonces, Mary podría jugar en su lugar. Okay? Living out it. In every, in every speech, we can use an imperative phrase, and plus will, Clause instead of if a conditional sentence. For example, if you come over here, I'll show you what I mean. Si viniera, dice, te mostraría a lo que me refiero. Come over here and I'll show you what I mean. Ven aquí y te mostraré lo que, a lo que me refiero. If plus an adjective. Okay? In informal instructions, we can leave out the verb to be in phrases with adjectives such as interest, and necessary, etc. And it's an example. Informal instructions, okay? In this case, we leave a bear out to be in a phrases. In this case, if you are interested, phone this number. If interest, phone this number. Okay, what, what are we all doing over here? We are giving out the bear B. Okay? If interest, phone this number. Out the bird to be, out the bird to be. We are like dropping out the bird to be. If you're interest, phone this number. If interest, si te interesa, phone this number. Marca ese número. If I me, my, or if I can, or I could. My, can, I could are used in if clause, which stands alone as a very polite request. As an example, if I could just have another look. Would I have another call? Si pudiera tener otro look, like a, a request, okay, una, una solicitud. If I might help you with your coat, okay, si pudiera ayudarte con tu abrigo, o podría ayudarte con tu abrigo. Okay, so that is the most important of those topics. Now, let's practice. Underline the correct form. A small dogs can be carried on passengers need only or provided they do not cause Inconvenience to passengers. Okay, even if or supposing you could visit any country in the world, where would you go? Mm, we are making. Mm -hmm. There are ways to express in conditions. What would you spend it on? Supposing you could visit any country in the world, where would you go? I would like to thank the many colleagues, colleagues sorry, who have made invaluable contributions on this or but for their help. But for their help, this project will not have been possible or unless their help, this project will not have been possible. What do you think is the correct answer? Unless or but for? Excellent. But for their help. Letter D. You must register your copy of the serial room online, otherwise, or unless it will not work. This is too easy. What is the answer? 
very well. Otherwise, de otra manera no funcionará. Okay? So you have to do the same with the other sentences. Sorry. Okay, let me see something. Okay, let's continue. Otherwise, right? So now, choose the correct option for A, B, or C to complete each sentence about security issues. So for each sentence, we have one, two, three options that we could complete each sentence. For example, for the A, L, or C, if only people stop leaving valuable property in parked cars, their cars wouldn't be broken into. B, a serious crime, what exactly should you do? What do you think is the correct answer? Only if you witness a serious crime, or if you were to witness a serious crime, or if only you witness a serious crime, what do you think, or which do you think, sorry, is the correct answer for that? Very well. If you were to witness a serious crime, what exactly should you do? See, please do not use 9099 emergency number. You are reporting a genuine, genuine emergency when you are making a joke. Please do not use the 999 emergency number if provided unless. Very well. Unless you are reporting a genuine emergency. That is not a joke. Okay? So you have to do the same with the other ones. Now, write a new sentence, uh, sorry, write a new sentence with the same meaning beginning as show. We will refund, refund your booking fee, okay, provided, okay, so we have to write a new sentences with the same meaning of the first one, but using, I'm sorry, the, um, Beginning as shown, we will refund your booking free, provided you can solve for a uh, sorry 48 hours in advance. We will only refund your booking fee if you cancel 48 hours in advance. It's the same meaning. I wish you told me about the ship flights to Italy. In this case, we have to use if. Very well. If only you told me about the ship flights to Italy. Si solo me hubiera dicho de los vuelos baratos a Italia. Que miren, if only yet. Thanks to the skill of the surgeon, the child survived. If it, excellent. If it hadn't been for the skill of the surgeon, the child would not have survived. So you have to use your imagination. Little d. Let us know if you have second thought. If you should have second thought, let us know. Okay, so now you have to do the same um, thing for the other ones. Let's continue. Complete the text with one word in each gap. Okay. Everyone agrees that unless the word type population is protect, B, will eventually become extinct if it is the name if it is were not for the efforts made by international companies over past decades the extinction will already have become a fact now you have to do the same for the other so uh, you have to look the uh, to think the correct answer for each sentence. Okay, so thank you for your attention, guys. Remember, if you have questions, do not forget to write me on the WhatsApp group. Goodbye and see you later.